This is the bullet penetrating the tree problem. We've got a bullet of mass M zipping along at speed of V and it hits a tree and it penetrates the tree and then comes to rest. Uh, it doesn't go all that far into the tree. It probably will be given in centimeters, but if you're going to use meters per second and perhaps grams, which should be converted to kilograms of mass, yeah, let's stick to SI units here, um, then, you know, convert the centimeters to meters. That, that was my point. Anyway, uh, I believe the problem asks you to find the frictional force, the average frictional force that the tree exerts on the bullet. Now, in this problem, we could use the work kinetic energy theorem because we know that initially there is plenty of kinetic energy, one half mass speed squared of kinetic energy. That many joules of kinetic energy will get converted to work done by friction to stop this bullet break up a tree and perhaps heat uh, the, little, the little bark elements takes a lot of energy. Okay, so work kinetic energy theorem, uh, bringing this bad boy to rest. So all that work, which is force times distance, uh, will be calculated from the initial kinetic energy that this had. Now, uh, there you go, solve for the frictional force, and I believe you're done with the problem. Providing everything is in fact in SI units, your force should be in newtons. Now, there's another part of this problem that asks you to find the time it takes to uh, penetrate the tree and come to rest. Well, you could do F equals MA and all kinds of things, but I guess I'm pretty lazy. I know that the average velocity, the initial, plus the final over two would be your av average velocity, and that would be that penetration depth over time. So solving for time, and uh, providing this is meters per second, this is meters, you will get seconds of time, and voila, you're done with the problem.